right, so here is Mace Windu out of the packaging. So let's get into this review, starting with the accessories. So for accessories, Mace Windu comes with a cloak. And you can put that cloak on him right here. Go around there. <laughs> I don't know if I'm just having trouble right now, but yeah, it's a pretty simple thing. It, it just adds to the character, I'd say. It doesn't really lay flat. I was thinking maybe you could do a water trick, though. I, I just haven't done that. But yeah, that's his cloak right there. Yeah, yeah, this is going to take a little bit more time, I guess, just to get it to a good looking pose. And then he also comes with his lightsaber. And this is a cool lightsaber. You have the amethyst blade and you have his hilt. There, just spin it around. And then the thing about the lightsaber is the blade it's just really flimsy and it, it's kind of like the peg got bent a little bit or the peg hole and the hilt got bent and it just feels weird putting it in like it's not safe and you can see that if I spin it it doesn't stay straight it's not connected to the blade straight so that's all for accessories let's move on to the figures articulation so for articulation, I don't know if this cloak is going to hinder it. It probably shouldn't because cloth, but I don't know. I guess I'll just leave it on because why not? And looking at the articulation, he can look up that far, look down that far, side, side, swivel, and you can like pivot it. And the way this works is he has... I don't think I'm going to be able to pull it off very easily, but he has kind of a dumbbell joint in the bottom and top part of his neck. So you get articulation in two places. Arms move out that far. Um, I think the cloak, I mean, the cloak really doesn't hinder it. Elbows. Move that far. Cloak really doesn't hinder that either. And then he has wrist articulation. He has a side to side or spinning hinge, a spinning peg in there to spin the wrist around. And then there's a hinge that moves it like that. And I would have wished it would have went like this instead of this. Because that way you could have pointed the lightsaber out of the hand and this is kind of pointed you can kind of get it in a pointed pose but I feel like it would have been nice if they would have included the other um, hinge in there instead and then move back that far at the waist forward side side pivot all that good stuff Hips move that far up, and I feel like this cloak is pushing it down a little bit. It's like it's going up, but then the cloak pushes it back down. So I don't know, maybe I'm just crazy. Move out that far, double jointed knee, and it looks like. This might get in the way a little bit with the double jointed knee, but it's a good bend. Ankles move down, don't really move forward, that's a problem. And he does have ankle pivot. And for the overall design of this, well, there, it's a Jedi. We've seen a lot of Jedi and their main design. It's not really that different from one to the next, but he does have this cloak belt around, kind of self-explanatory pouch. Yeah, I like the belt. Um, I was never really sure what these little pods were. No, I'm, I'm just not sure. And then his cloak is good, his tunic. There's texture 
It's nice. I really like that. And then in the pants, they're just white. They look good. But then his boots are dark brown, too. And yeah, a little bit of a lower tunic showing through. So that's the figure. Let's get into my final thoughts. So for my final thoughts on this figure, I really like it. I really like the articulation it comes with. The lightsaber is nice, but I am having some problems with my copy. The cloak is kind of annoying because when you try to put this over the head, it either doesn't look good or doesn't really stay in the right place. And then if you try to just put the hood down, you have to fold it back. And even then it still kind of pokes out a little bit and it just doesn't go down. So that's annoying with the cloth, but I'm sure you could get that working with a little bit of time. And then the figure, he's pretty cool, but I mean, the Jedi just don't have enough accessories in my opinion. But the problem is, what are you going to include for a Jedi, really, other than a lightsaber? And this one includes a cloak. But, I, I mean, I guess a couple extra pairs of hands, but really that's all you can include, in my opinion. More would just be too much. But yeah, I do like this figure, and right now it's not on the market, but these figures go for $20 a piece. But, yeah, that's my review for the Mace Window figure.